Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles, back again for another review. This time it's the Hot Toys MMS 468 Emperor Palpatine from Return of the Jedi. Now it's been a long wait for this. Uh, the Australian distributor Pop Culture finally got their stock in just recently and have started shipping their stock out. Um, and the set is pretty damn awesome. Uh, this is the deluxe set. Uh, you can get the figure separately uh, just on its own without the throne. Uh, but of course I had to get the throne uh, just to display this with the Royal Guard and Vader. So I'll just quickly go through the accessories. Of course, it comes with this pretty big throne. Um, now, I guess I haven't really checked uh, the size of it um, and the scale of it against the figure, but um, in person, it does look pretty nice. Um, some of the shots against the old Sideshow version, um, I can't really tell which one's better or not. Um, and uh, this is the only version I'm gonna have in my collection. So overall, it's not too bad. I'll just turn off the lights. On this side, for example, you can get uh, some light up features here. So you'll get the sides there, which is pretty nice. The little bits on the inside, same on the other side. And then you get some light up there, the top. They aren't too bright, uh, but I guess for some photo ops and so on, it's not too bad. Would have been nice if the uh, chair at the front or this uh, cushion part was actually a fabric. Uh, that would have been really nice, but uh, nothing like that. It's just a uh, painted hard plastic and the rest of it is this sort of gun metal type this uh, paint application people have complained about scuffs on theirs but uh, mine looks pretty good and the batteries the base just comes off it's not too deep and uh, you just get uh, two triple uh, A's I guess with the base not going too far in uh, people of course are having reporting issues with uh, how they display the Emperor sitting down and his feet dangling down the bottom um, I haven't actually tried uh, doing that yet with the figure, uh, but I'll uh, see how I go. Uh, the other accessories, uh, let me just get everything out the way and I'll, I'll show you the rest. All right, it comes with the standard base, which I think is the, the usual Death Star floor. It does come with a swap out uh, cover uh, that you can just swap out from the stand there. I'm not sure if this is more accurate to the throne room or, or what, but um, I'll probably just stick with with that one. Although this one does look a little bit darker, so I don't know, I'll probably have to go back to screenshots or something like that to see how that is. Um, I've also seen people, uh, because of his feet sitting in the air, uh, what they've been doing is um, just taking off the uh, the crotch grabber part and just placing this flat part at the front and his feet can sort of uh, sit on that. Now Hot Toys at uh, apparently Secret Base in Hong Kong have displayed it like that, so the instructions don't mention it, so I'm not sure if that's the intended way or not, or just a a free sort of get out of jail free for their uh, stuff up in the the feet sticking up in the air but we'll uh, see that in a second uh, it also comes with a cane which uh, is nicely molded and uh, I wasn't uh, expecting this sort of um, gloss black finish to it um, but it does look quite nice and it does have a hand uh, that uh, comes specifically to, to hold it something along those lines the hands themselves are a little bit dull I was expecting a bit more skin texture um, or blue along the veins and so on um, the sculpting is okay uh, but nothing too spectacular um, and uh, this this one i think is just the uh, the usual uh, pointing finger at luke uh, from the movie and of course he then comes with the two force lightning hands um, and it does come with the force lightning pieces uh, which uh, look pretty nice um, they start off sort of clear and then start uh, Transitioning, transitioning into the, the darker purple translucent plastic. And I think uh, you just sort of jam them in the, the fingers there to lock them in place, something along those, those lines. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Um, some of the bloggers uh, definitely do better shots than I do, uh, but uh, you get the idea. Um, and it's probably good that they don't paint them too much, uh, these hands, uh, you probably would scrape the crap out of them uh, trying to put these on. Uh, the last accessory, is the Luke uh, lightsaber. I don't actually, I haven't actually compared it against uh, the previous Luke figure. Um, I'm just uh, assuming that it's uh, pretty much the same. I think the key difference, of course, is it doesn't have the hole at the front there uh, for you to insert the lightsaber hilt uh, blade. It's just got this uh, finished tip um, because I guess uh, it's intended to just sort of sit there on his throne or be held by the Emperor. Uh, but that's pretty much all the accessories, so I'll uh, just grab the figure. Hold on. All right, so here he is, and I have to say, uh, first impressions, uh, as always, with these Hot Toys figures um, are pretty good when you unbox him. I was uh, looking at the prototype photos, and uh, I was a little bit worried about this 
weird smirk of his. Um, and I probably would have preferred an alternate sculpt as well with uh, the snarling um, face to, to go with the force lightning. Um, or even just a stoic face uh, like when he says, um, you know, uh, so be it. Um, but uh, this sculpt itself yeah, is pretty nicely done. Um, I think the wrinkling and so on, um, it might not be coming out on the screen, um, but uh, it actually has quite a lot of the detail that uh, the prototype photo had. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, people have said that the yellow eyes don't sort of come out, but I think, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to focus, but I think from what I can see, it uh, the, the yellow eyes are pretty good. Um, I think, um, particularly if uh, you sort of um, have uh, some decent lighting, if you sort of look at them as they as they are in natural light, I think the, the yellowing is, is actually quite nice. And I think you can see all the, the sculpted wrinkling detail there. I think uh, where they don't have, uh, haven't done as well uh, is probably the hair. Uh, the stranding is there, but uh, because of the, the sort of flat grey paint application, um, it does look a little bit uh, uh, clay-like. But I think most people will definitely have the figure displayed with the hood on. Now they have got a warning in the uh, instruction manual about um, paint bleed off of the hood. Um, now I'm not sure why they even bother uh, saying that because um, I think most people will have the hood on and if it bleeds onto the sculpt hopefully at least it covers, um, you won't be able to see any, any of that sort of paint bleed. Um, and I haven't really fussed it quite well but I think uh, this, this wire um, is uh, a bit more or at least a little bit easier to, to sort of manipulate than the um, Anakin Skywalker figure. I found that quite difficult. Uh, but this one doesn't seem too bad and it seems to sit a little bit lower on the head. Now, I wouldn't recommend sort of um, dipping this in water. I, I guess people have tried that to get rid of some of the, the excess ink and so on. But um, I probably won't bother. And if it bleeds onto the sort of grey area, I'm not too fussed with that either. Uh, but the material itself is uh, quite nice. It's, uh, it's not hard like the uh, layer, um, the... Uh, Last Jedi Leia figure, which the, the cloak on her was uh, quite uh, hard to manipulate, but um, this one here is a little bit easier and softer, um, and it still has that sort of nice reflective uh, texture to it. Um, and uh, I think this clip can be undone at the at the neck here, but I probably won't uh, won't bother doing that. Um, but uh, if you take a look at the various layers um, and again similar to the Royal Guard I don't think Hot Toys necessarily needed to put all these layers on but uh, their attention to detail is just uh, outstanding I love the the material of this inner cloak this inner suit here is uh, very similar to I think the Royal Guard um, except uh, of course it's grey um, it's just a nice soft almost like a felt material um, it's nicely finished on the edges there and again, uh, it's just tied off on the, the side in a big bow there. I probably won't bother taking it all off. I'm not sure what uh, sort of top he's got under there. But he's got these uh, felt sort of pants. You can feel a bit of a fat suit underneath there. Um, but uh, I guess I've never seen uh, or even thought about what uh, sort of pants the Emperor wore. <laughs> but uh, now you get a, an idea. And of course he's got his boots on there. And they're nice uh, sort of fabric boots, not the faux leather boots on, on the other ones um, and the ankle articulation is is like that as well so you get the the ankle rocking motion and the tilt so um, I don't think he's going to be put into any sort of uh, wild Sith poses um, I guess if they did do the um, attack of no what, what's that last one Revenge of the Sith movie uh, you might sort of try and get him into some of those poses um, but this one um, I think uh, he'll either be sitting on the throne or standing next to it, uh, throwing some force lightning at, at Luke. But uh, again, that uh, undersuit is uh, very nicely done. Um, articulation wise, uh, usual articulation, his arms sort of come out not too far. The, the undersuit here might uh, get in that joint and, and block that a little bit. Um, but uh, uh, he's got the double jointed elbows, so he does get a nice good bend there. Um, and, this, and the sort of tailoring on the the cloak here sort of has those folds to, to make that look 
a little bit easier and uh, fold over the arms a bit naturally. Um, the legs, uh, now this undersuit, I don't think um, it's too restrictive. Um, you can, can sort of get his legs out quite far if you want to have him sort of doing those moves. And he's got the double jointed uh, knees as well. Uh, the fat suit does feel a little bit restrictive under there. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how I can get him uh, with the ab crunch and the chest crunch here to sit in the chair naturally. That's probably the, the biggest challenge with this figure. Uh, to try and get him sitting in that chair in a natural way. So um, I'll probably be trying that in a second um, and seeing, uh, letting you guys know how far I can get with that. Uh, but uh, overall, if you just got him sort of standing there, he stands on his own pretty well without needing the, the crotch grabber stand. Um, so you can get him into some of those iconic standing poses next to Vader and Luke as well. Um, but uh, I will try and get him into the throne. Um, so I'm uh, just hold on a sec. All right, so I've tried for about half an hour and I'm almost ready to give up. <laughs> this is as low as I can get him um, into the throne without uh, feeling I'm going to snap the figure in half trying to bend the, the torso. I think the legs I can get up uh, high enough. Now, even just as it is, his legs, his feet are dangling right off the ground. Um, now, from the side, you can see um, I don't have too bad a curve with the feet and the body um, and his head is sitting just underneath. Now I think going by the prototype photos you are meant to be able to get him sitting a little bit lower which the only way that I can see that is getting him sitting a bit like this um, and just lowering his legs like that so um, you might uh, be able to do a bit better than me. I'll try and do the best I can, can to get him sitting in there without looking like he's, I don't know, he's starting to look like he's watching a bit of TV there, slouching right down. Um, I think trying to get the hands here to, and the robes to, to lay it a bit nicely might sell the effect a bit more, even on this side, uh, covering them up a little bit more and laying them naturally. Maybe, I don't know if laying them down over on the inside is better than or having them drape over the outside um, but definitely I have no idea how anyone has been able to get him sort of sitting in there um, naturally and having his feet touch the ground it's uh, next to impossible based on the height so I definitely will be using uh, the stand underneath um, just to give him that extra bit of height on his feet so it doesn't look like he's a little kid uh, sitting in a big chair <laughs> But uh, that's the best that I've been able to do. I'll, uh, I'll try and uh, have a bit more time to, to futz it. Um, and I will be putting him on display next to my uh, Vader and, and Royal Guard. But um, I will be posting a few more pics on the, uh, the Facebook page and Instagram. So hopefully you can head over to the Cool Collectible uh, Facebook page and uh, the Instagram account to, to follow that there. Um, and uh, hopefully you can give this video a, a quick like and subscribe to the channel if you like. Uh, this quick look at this uh, Emperor figure. Uh, I do have a few more things coming up. Uh, I think my next one six scale figure will be Neo from the Matrix. So hopefully Sideshow ship that out uh, soon. But uh, until then, uh, thanks again. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.